And I'm here at RSA with Michael from Commvault. Michael, how are you? Not too bad, how are you doing today? Good, good to see you. Uh, it's been a really exciting week what? for the industry and for Commvault. Uh, so much to dive into. Maybe introduce yourself, your role at Commvault, and you and your team's mission. Sure, so uh, Michael Fasulo, head of PM. Uh, my responsibility is kind of far and wide. I'm responsible for the hyperscalers, the security, and the core platform. All, only that? Okay, well that, that'll <laughs> keep you busy. So, you know, there's so many discussion of the latest uh, terrifying threats out there, um, but from your perspective, what are you most concerned about as a company that focuses on uh, the virtual environment and cloud and, and beyond? Yeah, so, you know, the hybrid landscape keeps everything complex and, you know, with all the different pressures, people are moving back and forth to the cloud, they're changing, they're refactoring. So, you know, this adds a lot of complexity. So, very important to keep things secure no matter where they may live and obviously keeping that security across people, systems, and across the environments. Well, that, that's uh, easily said, not so easily done. Very true. Um, you mentioned the, the hyperscalers, the cloud players, you, you partner with all of them. That's correct. Maybe introduce that partnership, how it works, and kind of the win-win-win for, sure. for that partner. Sure, so like I said before, you know, people are moving to and from the cloud constantly, you know, refactoring, uh, replatforming. So we work very deeply with our cloud partners to make sure that our customers can remain protected. And that's from a workload standpoint, from a security standpoint. And we, again, work very deeply with them to make sure that we continue to keep everyone protected from all the evolving threats that we see, you know, plague environments, regardless of where they may live. Great point. Um, so of course, AI is all the rage here, a lot of hype, a lot of FUD, but you guys have been using machine intelligence for quite some time yes, in, very in true. AI, and it's maybe not as sexy as Gen AI, but describe how you use it in, uh, in a typical solution. Yeah, so I would say about five years ago, we kind of took the leap and used machine learning for anomaly detection, mm -hmm. and we did that very early on in the security chain. Uh, as the years evolved, we started to use it in other places, like looking at backup anomalies and other uh, areas of the product so that we can continue to great, uh, create uh, very high fidelity signals about what's going on in an environment. So from there, you know, we continued to expand it and then we eventually you know, released our uh, Arley Copilot. Well, the world has caught up to, yeah. to Commvault uh, yes. in, in use of AI. Um, maybe talk about you know, the challenges of navigating the landscape today when it comes to compliance. You work with many companies who are highly regulated right. um, and there are always new regulations coming out. How do you think about staying on top of that in terms of industries like healthcare, banking, finance? Yeah, so we have a pretty expansive team that you know they, they have very specific expertise in those particular areas. So there's a huge funnel in, and obviously we work very closely with our partners to kind of really understand down to a, a region base, you know, how we're going to keep those customers protected and compliant in these particular areas. So again, just a lot of hard work. And the most important part of that is really making it easy for our customers to consume what we do and make sure they remain compliant with them. Great point, much needed. Um, you, you know, you've been in this industry for a while. You, you, you started off when there wasn't such thing as a public cloud. That's We're right. seeing this rapid migration, but it's not everywhere. There's still the very hybrid environment. There's multi-cloud as well. Yes. What are some of the shifts that you're seeing today and uh, getting to this the vision of, of true cloud-based services? Yeah, so for us, I think our, our core mission is regardless of where your workloads may live, mm -hmm. you need to make sure that they're secure and continue to be protected. And in most cases, we help you facilitate kind of moving you know, in between the clouds and keeping everything very hybrid. So as you said, there's always going to be some external pressures with Broadcom and VMware, so we're seeing a, a new wave of shifting uh, and we're seeing some of the older technologies kind of coming back into fashion, and some of them are moving directly to the cloud to kind of supersede what they've been doing on-prem. What are some of the pitfalls you see in that migration from on-prem to cloud? What you know changes everything? New threats, new architectures. Yeah. What should they be concerned with? Yeah, I mean, for for us, we're really not concerned with moving to and from because we have mm. the broadest workload support, and we have any-to-any -any portability. So as folks are moving regardless of where they're moving toward, we have supportability so we can help them move and remain protected. Uh, what I would say is, you know, privileged access and making sure that you're keeping everything with least privilege is super important, making sure that, you know, folks are using tools to make, to ensure that they're keeping their environments protected. Well done. Um, you look in the future, you like looking, you know, years out. What are some of the emerging technologies 
that you're particularly focused on and interested in? I, I've seen you talk about quantum yes. and cryptography, for example. Yep. Um, what else? Yeah, so PQC, I think, is a, is a hot topic. And I think as you'll start to see uh, this particular year, specifically, you'll see an on-ramp of people being much more concerned about quantum and the threats that they may prove. So we came out with a PQC uh, algorithms to make sure that our pipeline can remain protected uh, from those particular threats. And we're also seeing an emergence of uh, data in use protection. Mm. So we got data at rest, we got data in transit, all on lock. We've been doing that for a very long time and now data in use is that new uh, attack vector. So what people are now doing is as they move into uh, confidential compute, especially in the cloud, uh, we have full supportability for protecting those particular assets and we also use it in our back end for our SaaS application. Wow, you have one of the most exciting jobs at Commvault. <laughs> what are you uh, excited about over the next weeks and months? What's on your radar? So I think we'll continue to look at PQC yeah. uh, really as you know, an emerging technology. Obviously we want to make sure that we continue to expand our clean room offerings so that folks can continue to practice and make sure they're prepared for threats because we know definitively threats will continue and they'll continue to evolve. So you know, continue to maintain understanding of what's going on in the landscape and building products that solve really hard solutions for our customers. Fantastic, well you've been in the industry, in the industry quite a while, no disrespect, but yeah. uh, to the young kids coming up here at RSA, any advice for you know, rising in your cybersecurity career or getting started in a career in this space? Yeah, I think security continues to be like the hot topic, so if you can get into security, really understand the landscape and understand how it continues to evolve, you can really build really comprehensive products that solve real hard solutions for our customers. Wonderful thought. Listen to Michael, kids, get into cybersecurity. Yes. All right, thanks so Thank much, you. have a good RSA. Excellent.